Hi guys and welcome to another video. And this week, although the vlog will inevitably end up with a clickbaity title such as Heat Wave Hike of Horror, we are actually about proposing solutions for rambling hikers who want to get out but don't want to sizzle their brains in the current heat wave. And the solution is, in the words of the popular beat combo, Jam, we're going underground. Now, our visit has coincided with, it seems, about five uh, troops of school children being shown how to do uh, potholing. But I have listened in on their briefing uh, this morning and I've actually learned some, so I've got us some content for the vlog. In terms of the enter, the etta, in terms of the derivation of the name Yordas, Yordas Cave, there are two current prevailing views. So let's get interactive. If you believe Yordas Cave is named after the massive great big giant that lived here a few centuries ago, then select option A. If, on the other hand, you believe that Yordas is derived from a Norse word meaning earth stream, select option two. Yorda's Cave has been a popular destination for visitors for centuries. Uh, back in the 19th uh, century, uh, you had to actually go to the farm and uh, pay to get in, so it was a show cave. But uh, now, and I have managed to find the camera now to look at in the gloom, uh, but now it is open access. So not everything gets worse over time. These steps at the entrance were put in place back in the 1800s when it was a chargeable entry, a show cave. As well as being lovely and cool for our underground hike, it's also very dark and I don't suppose you're gonna be able to see a huge amount. You can just make out the lights up there of the some of the other visitors to the cave today. The cave is absolutely massive and is often likened to a cathedral. Uh, we'll put some sort of overlay up, I don't know how well it's gonna come across, uh, but it, there is something cathedral-like about this place. Uh, obviously there are no stained glass windows or fonts or pews or anything like that, but, um, or choir boys, uh, but, you know, it is massive and cold. Or for that matter, clergymen wearing Crocs. Uh, have you noticed that? Seems to be a trend these days. Vickers, clergymen wearing Crocs. All of the main named features of Yorda's Cave uh, seem to have been established during the 1900s when uh, the uh, chargeable tours were sort of taking place. Down at this end, which would be roughly the southern end, the stream that runs through the cave exits there. You can get through there uh, if you've got the gear. And then over in this corner here is another way out, which I believe is called Scotsman's Entrance. Sorry about the blinking guys, I'm obviously having to stare into this light in order to film this. At the other end of Yorda's cave we've got probably its best feature, let's go and take a look to it. Usually you need Wellingtons to get up to this end of the cave because of the stream that uh, flows through Yorda's cave is pretty hectic but uh, because of this heat wave the water is very low, it is flowing uh, but it's uh, easier than normal. I don't know if you'll be able to see in the gloom up here, but we have this rock curtain. And uh, next, we're gonna go behind that. And this feature is called the Chapter House, continuing our sort of cathedral theme. And uh, there we have it, there's the Chapter House, a perfect underground waterfall, nowhere near as active as usual. Uh, and there's the pool at the bottom of the chapter house. In more normal uh, weather conditions, the gorge or gill that runs down the fell side towards the entrance of Yorda's cave is a really fantastic scrambling spot. I love scrambling up here. But it does also illustrate, I'm not doing it today because it's baking, 
It does also illustrate the origin of the cave. It's what's called a solutional cave, which means that the, so what happened was the glaciers melted, massive waterfall formed here, gouged through the rock. But because the rock is limestone, uh, do you call that coniferous, something like that? Or is that trees? Uh, carboniferous, I think that's the word. The uh, stream eventually w worked its way through the stone and went underground, and that's what formed the cave. Well, that has cooled me down a treat, guys. It must be about 25, 26 outside. I'd estimate the temperature here in Yorders at around five or six. It's a fantastic place for a hike in uh, these sort of heat wave conditions. Please like and subscribe. The other great thing about it is that I can avoid a really clunky ending simply by turning this light off. Until next time, stay tuned. Neat.